Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Zephyr Epic here and welcome to our epic first look at the brand new 2023-24 Upper Deck CHL SP game used. I very much look forward to this product every couple of years that it comes out. It is a three card per pack, five pack per box product with four hits per box. Everything's super premium. And as someone who really used to love in the game Heroes and Prospects, it kind of fills a void that we didn't have for a really long time where you can get some CHL game used kind of cards. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. In terms of players that you want to pull, the main player that you are focusing on is Gavin McKenna. He is arguably going to be the first overall draft pick in 2026. Uh, is on pace to probably be the next Connor Bedard, which is really funny because he is Connor Bedard's cousin. But yeah, he's been absolutely insane. If you aren't keeping up with like CHL prospects or whatnot, um, legitimately having historic stuff, it would have actually been historic if it again wasn't for Connor Bedard. But just a very, very, very good player. And if you're you know in the region where you can catch a WHL game and he's in town. I would, I would do your best to go and see it because, you know, he's just a very fun player to watch. And so, yeah, this is a very fun product. Uh, and just box empty there. Uh, I like it a lot. In terms of other players you're hoping to get, uh, you have him. You have Connor Geeky in here. You have um, uh, Tija Ginla. There's a lot of really solid players. Uh, his teammate, Andrew Bash, is in there, but there's no Caden Lindstrom. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of really good players. Uh, Michael Misa, as well, is going to get some, like, love this year but lots of really good players uh it's a really fun product again it's kind of that old the same old sp game use design Ooh, it's really really sparkly i don't know if these cards are you know focus there we go so we got a jacob chromiak but it highlights all the chl players this is to 4.99 i don't know if you're going to be able to easily see that 4.99 but yeah the cards look the same as last time which is you know what i'm fine with it it's kind of cool because it's a living set as long as they don't like duplicate players um oh this is kind of like a different blue parallel it's tanner molendick molendike i think molendick um to 249 pretty good defender pretty good defender there but yeah it's got kind of that like blue swirly pattern and we have a patch that's a pretty cool patch of andrew crystal for the Kelowna Rockets, he's a Washington Capitals prospect, a little bit of edge chipping, but to 49. Um, the thing I like about this product too is when you get like cool patches, you kind of get some of the more unique colors that you don't traditionally see. So you get a little bit of teal in there, but yeah, Crystal's a pretty highly touted prospect. He's not my personal favorite. Um, very good offensively, but kind of, it's really funny watching the Rockets play because they essentially just be like cheat offense. And so I don't know how well that'll be for his development long term, but hey, he's still pretty highly rated. A lot of people seem to like him. So there's that. And hey, not a bad player to get. There are some like not great players in this checklist. There are some good players. I'm hoping we pull like some Cameron Schmidt, to be completely honest. I really like him with the Vancouver Giants. And again, any Vancouver Giant, I would always like. So uh, here's an Oliver Bonk for the uh, London Knights to 499. So the orange to 499. Uh, CHL stardom awaits autograph of Bonk. So yeah, another decently touted player. And then a blue of Callan Lind on the authentic prospects. So you kind of get like you know your general sense of stuff. But yeah, nice autograph there. Not my favorite design. Uh, everything's gonna be sticker autographs in this set as well. So all right, let's see if we can pop this open. There we go. But yeah, I'd like to see some Vancouver Giants cards just because, you know, big Vancouver Giants fan, had season tickets growing up, so got to see them win the Memorial Cup in 2007. Uh, Cole Hawkins for the Island, or the, uh, yeah, I guess they're the Islanders now. Um, yeah, because he got, he got traded to Charlottetown. That makes sense. Uh, this is a true rookie of Teague Patton for the Everett Silver Tips. One of the better, consistently better CHL teams, and they got a, Landon DuPont there, who's going to probably be one of the best defensive prospects in the upcoming years in the WHL. So, and then a Lucas Dragostevich for the Tri-City Americans. So it looks like you get a true rookie and then four memorabilia or autograph cards. That's kind of sick. Uh, Quentin Miller for the Quebec Remparts. Uh, Cohen Zimmer to 99 on the Stardom. So there's that. And oh, no, we just didn't get one in this pack. Huh. Uh, Jaeger Furcus to uh, four ninety nine. Hmm, that's kind of different. Feel like maybe we're not gonna get the four 
<laughs> four memorabilia or autograph cards. That's kind of kind of weird, but all right. Well, this pack might make. Maybe we'll have two here. Maybe. Uh, Easton Cowan, probably a name that you're looking for, giving it to Leaf to 249 with a Riley Height jersey. It's got some edge shipping on it for the Prince George Cougars and a, nope, just a regular Samuel Hanzik. So, um, hmm, that's kind of weird because I think you're supposed to get four, right? It does say four on the box. I mean, I like the Hanzik, but is this supposed to be... Nope, it doesn't have that, and I didn't. don't think I missed any. All right, so I guess technically we probably got the Teague Patton as one of our hits just because it is the true rookie to their jersey number. So that would make some sense, but overall, I think it's a decently fun set if you like to collect CHL players. The one thing worth noting is that some of the cards do definitely have some edge wear. Um, but yeah, if you like what you saw, we'll have a link in the uh, description below to pick up your box. Overall, our best hit is by far the Andrew Crystal Patch to 49. Obviously, this is a product where your money is going to just come from pulling the big rookies that don't have a ton of stuff out there yet. There's Gavin McKenna, who is probably the biggest chase out of all of this. Honestly, like if you pull his stuff, it will probably sell very, very well. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, I'm happy getting a Vancouver Giants card in here. This is kind of a fun collector set for me. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. We'll have a group break with this and a couple other fun breaks this week. So uh, all of that will be linked in the description below. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Take care and I will see you in the next video.